In this question, it says the square has sides of length 3 cm and the arcs have centers at the corners. Find the shaded area. So this is the shaded area which we need to find. So we need to understand a bit more about the question that these are the arcs. So if you consider this to be a center of a circle, then this one, this bit is an arc. And from that corner, this one is another arc. So there are two circles, you can say, like overlapping each other. Or two quarter of a circle overlapping each other. I have drawn a bigger diagram so that it's easier for you to understand. So before we proceed, let's find the area of the square first. So area of the square will be, of course, it's a square. So we have side of three centimeter. That means it will be nine centimeter square. Now for the area of the sector A, D, C. A, D, C, this sector. We know the sector uh, area of the sector formula will be theta by 360 multiplied by pi r square. So since this is a quarter of a circle, this is 90 degree. So the theta over here is 90. So 90 by 360 times pi times c square. r is the radius. If this is the center, then this will be the radius for that circle. So radius is 3. From this center, cd is the radius. So 3 square. So, and it comes down to 1 by 4 multiplied by pi times 9, or you can say 9 by 4 pi. So that is the area of the sector A, D, C, the whole thing, including this unshaded area, which I have called X. I have called this unshaded area X and this one Y. Now, uh, if I take away area of the sector from the area of the square then which is uh, yeah so area of the square is the whole thing area of the square is the whole thing and if I take away the area of the sector which I just found 9 by 4 pi if I take away this sector from the square then I'll get y the value for y. So if 9 is the area of the square and 9 by 4 pi is the area of this sector, then I'll get the value for y. So 9 minus 9 by 4 pi is equal to this, which is equal to y. And since these two are identical, x and y, the value for y is equivalent to the value of x. y and x are identical. Now, in order to find the shaded area, what I need to do is I need to uh, use the area of the square and take away the total of x and y. So let's solve x and y first. So x plus y will be x plus x. I can call y as x since y and x are identical. So x plus y is equal to x plus x or I can call it 2x which is equal to 2 multiplied by the value of this because this was the value for x. So the shaded area is area of the square ABCD minus 2x. If I call this x, this is also x and I got the value over here 2x. So which comes down to by solving 5.14 cm square. 